I just finished up a news conference where they are calling on you for help in solving a Buffalo arson. My colleague Joe Arena was there and he joins us now live with details. Joe. Yeah, Victoria, more than once, officials from the Buffalo Fire Department and FBI used the term hate crime to describe a possible motive for two arsons from last year. Now, we're going to show you some video of one of those arsons uh, from last May, as fire officials believe this fire was started by a firebomb of some sort. It was so intense, in fact, the structure next door was even burned. Now, 58 year old Michael Fajal was charged with arson and is awaiting trial, but officials now believe more information is out there, leading to several things. At least one more person, possibly, maybe another person, in connection with these arsons and whether these fire bombings were racially motivated. The elements of the case indicate that there possibly may be a hate crime motivated incident. We want to get to the bottom of it. Uh, what we're looking at as far as community response, community safety, uh, we will not uh, tolerate that type of behavior. We don't know if it was actually a motivating factor, but if it was, we want to make sure that we deal with it appropriately. And we're back here live in front of FBI headquarters in downtown Buffalo. There is a number to call. I believe it's on the screen. If you if it's not on the screen, here it is. 716-856-7800. That's the FBI. They're asking for your tips. They're offering a $10,000 reward for any arrest that leads to a conviction. We should also mention that the Buffalo Fire Department is taking this case, these two arsons, in fact, very seriously as one of their own was hurt fighting these fires. He, we are told, has since recovered and is back on the job. News 4's Ed Dranch will have much more on this story, including what Bill Hochul had to say about it today from this press conference. That'll be tonight at 5 and 6. Right now, we're live downtown. Joe Arena, News 4 at noon.